In this lesson, we're going to go over adding additional software into the Eclipse IDE. So when it comes out of the box, there are certain things that we don't have access to right away in our IDE. One of the things that's very common that we'll probably want to add is the ability to quickly and easily design GUI layouts for regular desktop programs. So with that, we want to add Window Builder Pro. Now that's a program that very easily plugs in to our Java Eclipse IDE. So to do that, we need to find, first of all, the link online. So we would go to google.com and look for Window Builder. And so let's go ahead and look here. And what we can see is that if we want a specific version, we would want to type that in. 4.3, of course, is the Kepler version if you're using that. 4.2 is Juno. 4.4 is going to be Luna. So let's go ahead and look for this. And you can see that each one will have its update site. If you put in 4.3, you should see something for 4.3. And what you can see here is it will click on this and it'll take us to a page and it has some package installation instructions. But what we really care about is this link. So we'll just copy this link. You can either right click and copy it or you can use your command key or your control key and C to copy it. And what we'll do is go to help and we're going to go to install new software. Now this will give us the ability to quickly find the software we're looking for. If I paste that link in here and I select add, it'll ask me what do I want to put as my name. I'm just going to put window builder. Let's say OK. And hopefully this will show a few different things here. Swing designer, SWT designer, and window builder engine. Now those are going to be what we're going to go ahead and add. But I wanted to show you that if something doesn't come up or if you just know what you're looking for and you don't want to go out and look, you could go to all available sites. It should show all of the different plugins that are available and you can easily browse through them to find the different things you're looking for, such as the Window Builder Engine, the SWT, and Swing Designer. So even if we hadn't gone to Google, we have that available. Now just to make this easier on myself, I'm going to go ahead and select my Window Builder link that I have there. Now down here, you'll note that there are different options available. Show only the latest, group by category. So you'll want to make sure to check show only software applicable to target environment if you want to make sure not to have any conflicts there. And also hide items that are already installed. Very important. In case you already had this installed, there's no reason to try to reinstall it. Select next. And of course this will take some moment to get all of the items installed. You can see the different items here available that will be installed. We'll select next again. And then we have to accept the agreements. And so we have different things to read through there. Of course, we want to read the EULA and make sure that we accept those terms and select finish. Now this will install the software. You can actually turn this to run in the background so that you can continue working if you'd like. You could select it one time to run in the background. You can see the details about what's going on here. You want to watch in more detail. And basically, once this is done, our window builder software add-in should be working in our environment. So let's give this one moment. And what we'll see is that once we have completed that software update, it will let us know that we need to restart Eclipse for those changes to take effect. So we can go ahead and do that. Of course, if you're working in some other project, make sure everything's saved before you do that. It will save all of this and then pop right back up with the Eclipse restart here. And now that our software update has completed, our environment has restarted. And that wraps up our look at getting an additional plugin installed into our Eclipse IDE.